Our first story is sure to make most teenagers jealous and parents wishing they had something similar in their own communities. The Bath Youth Meeting House and Skate Park has had a huge redevelopment in the last year, mainly due to the vision of one woman. Jamie Dore is transforming the skate park from a cool hangout to a community center that does a whole lot more. 207's Beth McAvoy joins us with the story. Hey Beth. Robin, Amanda, on the outside it looks like an amazing teen center and skate park but it is the work being done behind the scenes. That's why this small center is truly changing lives. I come to the skate park every day unless I'm feeling sick. I come here like every day with my brother. Every day at Maine's largest indoor skating park and teen center. Hey, we see an average of 70 students, middle school to early high school. I can come here, cool off, and scoot and skate whenever I want. But they aren't just here to skate. I like to play pool. What are you playing? I don't even know what it's called. Playing Roblox. Playing what? Roblox. Foosball, games, watching TV, even an impromptu push-up contest. Twelve. 13. Or just hanging out and drinking Slurpees. <laughs> in the critical time of young adolescence, the teen center in Bath is a safe place. My life without a skate park, uh, probably wouldn't be doing much, honestly, staying home, playing video games and all that. Where kids actually want to be. It's just been a really wonderful place for my child to come after school. Uh, he's not really been interested in traditional sports. He's discovered pool and has been taking it very seriously. He's been able to socialize and meet new kids, and I know he's safe here. That's in large part because of the work of longtime volunteer turned founder of the Midcoast Community Alliance, Jamie Dore. What Jamie has done for our community is endless. Our work kids are so important, and right now they don't feel that they are important. And to me, that's something that just, we can't keep going the same way. Jamie had volunteered at the skate park where her son frequented when in 2016, we lost a young person to suicide who I had watched grow up at the skate park. Someone who was very well known throughout our community, someone who was always smiling. It was devastating as it is every time. Um, and it just was, it was time to do something about it. Jamie got a small group together to discuss the challenges facing the youth of their community. What we found was that our youth are really hurting. She spent two years doing research and talking with schools and parents and other community officials. Youth in Sagatahawk County had higher rates of suicide ideation, depression, anxiety, substance use because of that. I thought, wait a minute, I'm a parent of teenage boys, why don't I know this? Jamie brought together people from the schools, the hospital, the rec department, police, local churches, and the Midcoast Community Alliance was born. We have worked to bring in after school programming by um, working with the partners that are part of our alliance. Jamie quit her job as a graphic web designer at the beginning of 2019 to become a full-time volunteer. We're now this huge thriving community of um, volunteers that come in and offer art classes. We have someone from the um, National Guard that comes in and does team building. They offer two Tutoring, a summer math program. A local fitness instructor comes in to do physical activities. We have community members that sign up to bring in meals. Um, and so we have a meal that comes in at 5 o'clock every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because we have some students that are with us until we close at 8 o'clock. There are plenty of free after school snacks for the kids and the Alliance is diving deep to help individual needs. If there's a student that is facing significant challenges, whatever those might be, we've started a wraparound committee that will meet and talk about how can we help this young person, how can we be a support to the family. What surprised me the most is that Jamie was an introvert. And now when you tell people that, they're totally amazed. Jamie's husband, Mike Dor, has thrown his support behind his wife. I'm extremely proud of her. I, 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 I'm proud of her. The introvert turned community organizer continues to talk about the difficult subject of suicide. Well, she's really shifting perspectives and attitudes about people, how they feel about themselves and about our community and how the community feels about our youth. And that's a shift that's happened relatively quickly. 
but it's things as simple as playing a game that can matter so much to a young teen. I love her. She's an amazing role model. I want every student to understand that they matter, that they have a purpose, that they have something to give to their community. Um, and if they're, if they're hurting, if they're struggling with a mental illness, that it, it, that can happen to anyone, and it does happen, and that they aren't alone. Um, I just want them to know that there's always more options than um, taking their own life. And after a year of full-time volunteering, Jamie's now in a paid position. Last month, Jamie was named by the New England Patriots Difference Maker of the Year for her volunteer work. She was given $20,000 for the Midcoast Community Alliance, and the kids are really excited about it. What a great space. It's nice to see, even though the kids are sometimes playing video games, at least they're not at home alone playing video games. They're doing it together, and, and they don't stay long on those on those video games, for sure. Uh, well, I love that one of that fun, one of the final shots of uh, the girl wearing her biking helmet while you know at the keyboard or the piano. It shows how they bounce around, move around from one thing to another. There's so much to do that they can actually do that. Yeah. Really Thank you, cool. Beth.